Hello guys, so in this video what I want to show, I want to show how if you're going to have a base, uh, how the base is going to generate the topology. Basically, the whole idea what we have done so far, that we have some, let's say, an empty set X. And from this an empty set X, we're going to produce the power set P of X. And remember that the power set is going to be just a set where each element is going to be a subset of X. And then using uh, this power set, we can produce two objects. The first object is going to be topology tau, which is going to be just subset of the power set P of X. And the second uh, object is going to be basis B. Uh, and how are we going to distinguish that? To show that something in topology, we need to show that uh, three uh, properties are going to hold. So the first property that empty set and the set itself belongs to topology. The second property that if you're going to take like any like elements from your topology, then their union over like any index set is going to belong to your topology. And the third one, uh, what we were going to show, we're going to show that we need to, that we need to check. We need to check that if we are also going to take like any elements of our topology, then their finite intersection is going to belong to our topology. So like uh, intersection of AIs where, where I goes from one to N. And to show that something is, uh, basis and again like uh, b is going to be a subset of the power set of x here just we need to show that if we're going to take the union of all elements of our basis then they're going to be equal to x and the second one i'm going to just a sketch diagram you can check it in my previous video that means if i'm going to take the any like an empty intersection of the elements of my basis so in other words, like U intersection V is an empty. And if I'm going to take uh, any element inside the intersection, there in, uh, I always can find some other element W such that X belongs to W and W belongs to, and remember like W belongs to my uh, basis. Okay, so you can see like right now we, we study like these two objects uh, where we have the, uh, the, these properties. So what I want to show, I want to show that right now how we are going to move from the basis to our topology so as a step number one what do we have we're going to say like uh we have some set x and then let's fix some basis b so first remember that every time when we have some element a belongs to our topology then this a is called an open set so when we're going to fix our basis then how are we going to define our topology how in other words how are we going to define the open sets so we're going to find the open set in the following we're going to say that some subset a of x every time when i'm going to choose any element of my set then i can find uh some element of my basis in other words this exist some u then belong to b such that uh, my x is going to be belong to u and u is going to be a subset of a uh, if i'm going to sketch the picture for that then this is going to be my a i'm fixing some x and inside I can find U, which is going to belong to B. So in other words, the set is going to be open if uh, every point can be surrounded by some element uh, from my basis that uh, completely lies within my set. So, and then the collection of all such sets, I'm going to call tau. And what do you want to do right now? Right now, if I want to show that tau is topology. So for that, what I need to do, I need to check uh, the, those three properties. So let's check the first property. So for the first property, I want to show that the empty set and X belongs to tau. Uh, that empty set is trivial because to check that something is open, I need to choose elements in my set, but my empty set is empty, so there's no elements. So there is no element such that that something is going to go wrong. So that's why the empty set is going to be open or in other words, belongs to our topology. And the second one is, I want to show that X belongs to my topology, but here follows from the definition of the basis, because I know that X can be written as a union of the basis elements. So if you're going to track, uh, let's take some element X in A, in other words, let's take some element X in X, then from here will follow that that element X is going to belong to union of your basis elements, and since X belongs to the union of sets, then from here follows that X uh, belongs for some U. Sorry, uh, X, that X belongs to U, uh, they're like U. Okay, and from here we'll follow uh, that our original set X is open because the choice of X was arbitrary, so 
uh, that works for EX. Okay, and here we're done with the first property. Then let's check the second property. So for the second property, what do you want to show? I want to show that if I'm going to choose some elements A, uh, actually let's, let's show the following. Let's choose element A and B in our topology because if I'm going to show that that works for the union of two sets, then I can show that it works for any uh, arbitrary sets. Um, so if I'm going to choose A B in the belongs to topology, I want to show that A union B also belong uh, to my topology. But this is kind of trivial because uh, what do you want to show? I want to show that A union B is going to be open according to this definition. But to show that something is open, I need to choose the elements that belongs uh, to my set. So if I'm going to choose that X belongs to A union B, then from here will follow that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. And you can see that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. It's already covered because A, B, A, A and B belongs to our topology. So that's why you choose that X belongs to the union and then you have like two possible choices, but those two possible choices are already like uh, considered. So that's why A union B is going to belong to our topology. And you can see using this argument, it's going to be really easy to, to generalize this for. Okay, and finally, let's uh, show the same for the intersection of two opens. So I'm going to take A union B that belongs to my topology. Then I want to show A intersection B also belongs to my topology. And here I'm going to sketch a picture. So I'm going to take, this is my A and this is my B. Yeah, make, I need to make my B slightly bigger. Okay, so what is my A intersection B is going to be this green uh, subset over here. So what I want to show, I want to show that this green area is open. So according to definition, I need to take uh, any element X that belongs to that green area. And I want to find some open that is going to be surrounded, some element of the base that is going to be surrounded around my X, let's call it W. And that is going to be inside of A intersection B. But wait a second, what is A and B? A, A and B belongs to our topology. So I can consider separately that X belongs to A and that X belongs to B. But since X belongs to A, I can find some element uh, of uh, my basis, which is U. And since X belongs to B, I can find some element uh, v that uh, contains that u contained x and b contains x and then what i can do i can take the intersection so in other words i can replace my a and b with u and v so right now i have intersection of u and v which is obviously an empty since i had this element x inside and since u and v belongs to since u and v belongs to my base then i can see by using the definition like the property of the base, like property number two. So it falls for property number two. I can say that W exists. So that's why A intersection B is going to be open because again, like I take my intersection and choose a point from there. That point belongs to A and B at the same time. So I chose the basis elements for A and B uh, correspondingly. I intersect those basis elements and the intersection of this basis element is going to be non empty. And uh, using the basis definition, I found another basis element W that is going to be contained in that intersection. So it's going to be contained in the intersection of A and B. So that's why A and B is going to be open. And that's uh, and here we're done with the second property a long time ago. And right now we finish our third property because if I want to show it's true for defined intersection, then I just need to proceed here by induction. And we are done. So yeah, that's it. This is how by having a base, we're going to generate some topology on our set X. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, feel free to share like with your friends. Uh, and if you want to see more like uh, topology videos, uh, feel free like to comment below the video and give me some feedback. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day.